You know what the prize is for getting it right? Oh, Alright, bye! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Another week of Blind Wine. Uh, back at it again. Last week, I made a really big deal about how I'd lost touch with the common man because I knew everything about wine and then got everything wrong. So thankfully, I'm still in touch with the common man. If you want 10% off any of these wines, you know the deal. Down below in the Discord channel, there's a link down there. If you follow through there and you put the code in, you get 10% off through Sometimes Always, who always hook us up with fun wines. All right, cool. Wine one, let's go. Go straight into it. Go. Ooh, very spicy, kind of savory. I do not like how that smells. There's something really pooey about the start of it. It's not even farty. It generally smells like poo. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I've just got something in my nose. Love the cool kind of slick tannins here. Cool sourness to it. Wow, fun one. Um, okay, I'm gonna go Rhone Grenache. That is delicious. Stand by it to a lesser extent. So, nose, bad. Taste, let's see. That's cool, I'm into it. Uh, I'm gonna sniff it again because I was probably just being a moron the first time around. Yeah, it feels, feels like a restrained Beaujolais kind of thing. It's just got this cool like estery banana thing uh, that feels like carbonic maceration, but there's a lot of taut energy and there's a lot of skin contact, there's a lot of stemminess. I think it's about $35 and I would take half a dozen. Not overly complex on the palate, but on the nose it's got you know, lots of like lingering kind of seductive qualities, but, um, just juicy, crunchy on the palate. Yeah, it's yum. It's like a citrusy, between course gelato type flavor almost. I, I'm into it, I like it. I'll be interested to see what it is and how much it costs. Wine number two. Ooh, I reckon this is Chardonnay. Yum. It's got all of the hallmarks of what I think Chardonnay is. It's woody, it's textural, or it smells woody and textural. Uh, and then it doesn't taste like any of those things. What the fuck? Someone's got an oak budget. <laughs> Someone's got some money to spend some um, some kish. The oak integration is really impressive as far as the winemaking goes, but there's not that much flavor. The acidity is good. Oh, I really like this. This is kind of citrus zest. It's the nashy pear and acidity for days. That's yum. I don't know. I still think it smells like Chardonnay because I think everything smells like Chardonnay. Um, but I don't know. What the fuck's going on? Maybe... Um, Maybe this is a ruse and I really like it. I just want more excuses to keep drinking it. But um, overall, it's like, it's fine. It's really good. Um, it's not breaking the brain. It's not getting me jumping out of my chair. It's got a nice texture to it. It's got a great acid to it. I reckon it's expensive. I reckon that's really well crafted because it hasn't got that like punchy in the mouth sort of like, hey, it's wine. Um, 65? Do I like it? I think I like it. Now we've got some uh, apricot nectar by Golden Circle by the looks. Clearly a wine that's going to get me really excited because it is peachy and tropical looking. Um, I always love this kind of shit. This looks fun. <laughs> that is such a cruel trick. <laughs> looks delicious. And then a whole whack of VA on the nose. Nope. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> oh, mousy. <laughs> it's one of the mousiest wines I've ever tasted. It's a shame. Uh, yeah, you always hate to see that happen. But yeah, um, unfortunately, that is a wine that's so riddled with mousiness that it's actually not enjoyable. Absolute cardboard. Natty wine's not cheap to make because you have to do it. I, I reckon probably 40 bucks. But yeah, if, if I had that at the table, I wouldn't finish it. I'm going to take none to be really brutal, um, but I would be really keen to try another bottle just to see if it, it is like, you know, it's a once-off thing or if something's gone wrong with that particular bottle, but yeah, um, not looking great, sorry. Cool. That's actually delightful. I don't know if it's just because it's now getting that taste out of my mouth or not. I'm so sorry to wine number three. It's quite, I'm sure it's lovely. Floral, red apple, lovely kind of raspberries, cherries. That's great. That's really cool. Um, it's got this really cool, like dried raisin sultana thing, but lovely tannin structure. It did that swishing around your mouth thing where you're meant to try and get chalk out of a wine, like you get that tannin. Uh, it didn't have heaps of it. There's a lot of acidity to it as well. So it's, it's actually quite well balanced, but for a Pinot, yeah, it's quite masculine. There's a bit more a structure to it and- um, Is a little bit chalky, a little bit fruit forward, uh, Aussie, Shiraz, 
Price-wise, doesn't seem super expensive. Seems pretty reasonable, pretty daily drinker almost. So I'm going to say 38. Oaks there, tannins there, fruits there. Like, absolutely perfectly. So absolutely hats off to whoever who made that. It's really, really good. Number five. Nice little golden color here. Oxidative. The color's quite interesting. Again, this is another one that I'd like to taste like blind blind where I can't see the color because I look at it and I smell it and I'm like, honey. I don't know if it would smell like honey if it didn't look like this, but really interesting orange flavor here. A bit like rindy and burnt. Briny on the palate in a good way, kind of salty, saline, but lots of acidity. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Savin. If it's Australian, it's in incredibly well made. There's nothing that's making me think one thing or another about it. I'm not sure it's Australian. I think it might be Old World. Like awesome fairy green acid, uh, fairy green tannin and lovely racy acidity. Awesome little tertiary, like oxidative grilled nut thing. This is what you want from a wine like this. Like this is a perfect example of the style and why it's become so popular recently. And I think this is super delicious. I'm thinking around 50. Nah, I'll take it back. Say 40. I'll take it does too. That's amazing. Done. Right, wine number six. Probably the cleanest looking white of the ones that we've had. And as a general rule, cleaner whites have been something that I've been leaning towards lately, I've noticed, because sometimes they have a little bit more residual sugar in them. Wow, so aromatic, so intense. I'll be damned if this is not another Alsatian Riesling. Let's go. I am really excited now. That smells awesome. Kind of smells like marijuana. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. Can't wait for them to be like, you're a fucking idiot. Um, the nose is insane. Just really jumps out of the glass. Yeah, I'm gonna go Riesling, but it might be a Gruner. Like it's got nice kind of palette weight. It's a little bit oily as well. Love the mineral drive that runs all the way through this. It's got this lovely acid to it. Maybe a Riesling. I don't, I really don't know. Maybe Rizza. It's gonna cost $28. This is a cheap wine. I hope so. And I want six bottles of it. Can I have 12 thanks? Like 12, like now? 12 yesterday? Can I have like that delivered to my door? Yum. All right, can't wait to be told I'm an idiot in three different languages by the Somme and the other guy. But see you soon. So very interested to see what you guys had to say about these. There was some absolute doozies in here. Uh, some of them, one of them actually left me speechless, but not in like a good or a bad way. I just had no idea what the fuck was we got, going We on. got six wines here that felt like facing it over from Shane Moore. First up, we had this little red number here that looks popular because there's not heaps left in the glass. What, what do we got? 40 bucks? Ooh, you're on the money here. If it's Australian, you're gonna be absolutely stoked, aren't you? Yeah, oh my God, it's Australian! Oh, he's done it again! <laughs> uh, it's Lada, so awesome producer from uh, Victoria who makes a whole bunch of stuff. This is Legrain. Yeah, wow. Cool. Holy that shit. That is awesome. Somebody calls ZZ Top because that is shit hot. Did you like this one, actually? Because I thought you might hate this. This one? Loved it. 12 bottles. So you're a fan of Chardonnay now? I said it was Chardonnay. Two for two. We all, all said it was Chardonnay. We all said it was Chardonnay. I thought it was 65 bucks. Yeah. How much I do you think it was? I said 40. I said 40. Yeah. Lucky $3. Mm. What do we got? 12. Henry, are you becoming the last up? No. Um, <laughs> what have we got? Is it Chardonnay? Fuck I don't know. Damn. This is Chablis. Yeah, Burgundy. Burgundy. Appalachian. Yeah, but that's, that's pretty hot for Burgundy. Yeah, what year is that? 2019? I often say cool label. Boring label. Boring label. Very boring label. And not, mm. I mean, now that you know it's Chablis, it does scream Chablis, but it is warm for Chablis. <laughs> Right, next up we've got number three, which I'm very interested by. Let's play rock, paper, scissors to see who actually has to finish this. No, no okay, absolutely no, fucking not. No. I'm not drinking that. So please, sorry. Please tell me this is cheap. Fuck oh, off. Fuck I'm man. sorry, man. Oh, I'm so sucks. sorry. Oh, thank God. It's Georgia. Oh, it's Georgia. Uh, so it's a little Italian um, Bianco, so I'm guessing a blend. I would have, if I was going to a bottle shop, I would actually spend $50 on that. I'd mm. be disappointed if I spent 50 bucks on it. Hopefully this is just either a complete bottle variation or something that's a uh, change of cross, crossing from um, Italy to Australia. But overall, yeah, that's just, it's not good. We've got what I think was an Aussie Shiraz. What did you guys think of this? Uh, I really liked it and I got I half a dozen. It. How sexy is it, Lo Lockie? Oh, nailed it. Okay. Oh, it is Australian. That's awesome. That's Beachworth, Beachworth Shiraz. Oh! Somebody come get her. Okay, so what did I say? Oh, so how much was it? It was uh, 40 bucks. So I said it was a $38 wow. Australian Shiraz. Um, I think I have to eat my hat soon, hey. <laughs> it's gorgeous. 
I think one of us is going to have to get sacked because he's getting to the middle <laughs> level where I was. If you're an idiot who doesn't know anything about wines, we're taking applications because we I'm, need one. Apparently. I'm actually so impressed by this. this that's, stunning, ama that's an amazing yeah. one. Beef, I've never had as a greater Beechworth Shiraz as I have with that. So I thought this was another Chardonnay. What did you guys think? Uh, I didn't really pick a variety, uh, but is this like some kind of texturally something or other? What do we got? $95! Did you just say $95? Oh, it's the Lunge Bell. Holy shit! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, this is now, a... Amanda. If you'd like to explain to Noah why that's insane. <laughs> so amazing producer from Sicily, Frank or Nielsen, yeah, Nielsen, um, and this is a fuck off cult wine. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. What variety is it? It's a blend. It's a blend um, of some really obscure be, Sicilian um, white varieties. Um, but uh, also, to sometimes always, thank you so much. That was really nice of you. I know what I'm taking home. <laughs> oh, fuck, we're going to have to fight over this, hey? <laughs> now. I think Henry might actually be the other one to take it home because he's fucking killing it. <laughs> yeah, no, you guys agree. You guys can have that. <laughs> this one, last one, I thought was potentially Riesling, but because I've been to music festivals and I've had people describe to me the scent of marijuana, I thought this smelled like marijuana. I have to say, this doesn't smell all that much like marijuana. Well, you need But I understand the herbaceous, herbaceous kind of thing herbaceous, going. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's not... I've smelled more cushy wines than this. Yeah. Um, overall, I fucking love this wine. I this, great too. this is my 12 bottles for $50, please. I thought this was Chablis. This is what I thought was Chablis. It's fucking tasty. Yeah. How much is it? I said 28. I said 30. I said oh, 50. well done you. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. okay. <laughs> Damn. What is it though? Casa de Passarela. It's yep. A, it's <laughs> Bronco. <laughs> Another Malbasia, which I'm I don't know. 30 I bucks as well. That's this is a good price for 30 this bucks. This is cool as shit. I wanted yeah. six bottles That's of it. That's super cool. Like um, for $30, that is super cool. Really, it looks like a pretty popular lineup because there's no one. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, what a great lineup. And then there's a you know screaming. The no, 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 no. <laughs> you know what the prize is for getting it right? Uh, Alright, bye. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs>